I'm Larry Gammon. I'm the product manager here with Garland, and this is our brand new clamshell grill. So a clamshell grill, uh, the benefit is that you can cook in less than half the time, in less than half the space of a conventional flat grill. And uh, th that gives you the opportunity to uh, cook uh, uh, one item or multiple items uh, all day long in a very consistent and safe fashion. On a flat grill, it can take up to three weeks to train somebody to cook safe and consistent food. On a clamshell grill, it takes you about 15 minutes to ch uh, train them to load and unload the product and uh, uh, to be able to set the recipe. So the way I'll demonstrate how the grill works, uh, we set the, in a recipe you set the temperature on the lower, the temperature on the upper platen, then you set the time and you set the cook gap. So here's a quick cycle, we're going to cook some rooster, and I don't know how many of you out there have been uh, uh, tried rooster in the past, but it's very, very good. And in 10 seconds we'll cook rooster, and you can see the cook gap. And at the end of 10 seconds it'll show you the, uh, where it is in the cook cycle. And at the end of 10 seconds, it'll open up and tell you it's done. So that's the first uh, example. The next one I'll show you is we now have multi-stage cooking. So multi-stage cooking allows you to cook at one gap to do, for example, a sear, and another gap to be able to continue the cook. But we can also, partway through a cook cycle, open the plat and, and do things like uh, add some marinade or put some seasoning on. And the example I'll show you here is cheese. So the, the, the grill will come down to uh, a gap to cook the meat. So you can see we're cooking a, approximately a 10 to 1 burger. And after 10 seconds, just as an example, um, I'll show you that it'll uh, open up. So when it hits the 20 seconds, the platen will open up and it tells you the operator to add cheese. So you add cheese to the burger and then you continue the cook cycle. It comes down to a different gap because now you don't want to touch the uh, cheese. You want to melt the cheese in a consistent fashion but not touch the cheese. And when the cook cycle's over, it starts to beep to tell you it's about to open. And now the platen uh, opens up and you're uh, fully complete and you've got the burger uh, cooked and the cheese melted on the burger. The other thing to demonstrate is um, uh, previously the grill could cook up to two-thirds of an inch and our competitors to one inch. And you can see now we can set a cooking gap up to two inches thick. So there's a large variety of uh, recipes and menus now that uh, a chef can work with. Uh, to maximize uh, the capability of the unit. And the, the, the other piece that I'd like to show you today is um, the, uh, the grill has um, uh, uh, three lanes. We build a one, a two, and a three lane unit. So you can um, um, determine the, capability, the requirements for the, the restaurant and buy it in either a single, double, or triple. And we have it in either electric or gas on the grill plate. And um, uh, we can now set uh, the temperature is totally different in each lane, so previously uh, everybody in the marketplace had, had to have the temperatures all set the same because the grill plate is three quarters of an inch thick. What we've done is put a groove there so you can now set this at 250 degrees and cook eggs and you can put this at 350, 400 degrees and cook protein and you can come over to this lane and turn it off totally. So if you're uh, not busy and you only need two lanes to cook, you can turn this lane off and save the energy for uh, cooking the product.